velvet. You're that girl. I don't know how you could remember that. Because you... Let's delve into the beloved TV series, The Waltons, which won over audiences from 1972 to 1981. Set in the Great Depression, the show takes place in the tranquil Appalachian Mountains and follows the life of the Walton family. While the show is famous for its wholesome depiction of family values and timeless storytelling, there are many fascinating stories behind the scenes. From intriguing anecdotes to little-known character insights, these hidden gems offer a fresh perspective on this classic program. So, let's explore some captivating secrets about the making of the Waltons. How dreadful. Constantinople all the way across the continent of Europe. Drawing inspiration from the 1963 film Spencer's Mountain, the classic TV series The Waltons was brought to life. This heartwarming show took its cue from the movie, which itself was based on Earl Hamner Jr.'s novel. Set against the backdrop of a close-knit family living in a rural area, the Waltons captured audiences with its wholesome values and relatable storylines. Spencer's Mountain, starring screen legends Henry Fonda and Maureen O'Hara, laid the groundwork for this beloved television series. With its focus on family dynamics and small-town life, it resonated deeply with viewers, leading to the creation of The Waltons. While sharing many thematic elements with its cinematic predecessor, The Waltons expanded upon these ideas, delving deeper into the lives and relationships of its characters over the course of nine seasons. Both the film and the TV series served as windows into simpler times, offering a glimpse into a bygone era that captivated audiences young and old alike. I'm not sure anymore. Did you really think it would be like the days when you'd say... Earl Hamner Jr., the creative mind behind the Waltons, drew heavily from his own upbringing in rural Virginia during the Great Depression. This personal connection lent a unique authenticity and emotional depth to the series. Although the iconic Walton's home, referred to as the Hamner House, was physically situated in Los Angeles, it wasn't originally located in Virginia where the story unfolds. Nevertheless, it quickly gained popularity among tourists who were eager to catch a glimpse of this classic family abode. Hamner Jr.'s early life in Schuyler, Virginia, served as the primary inspiration for the Waltons. As he grew up, he keenly observed the lives of those around him, carefully noting their struggles and triumphs amidst the backdrop of one of America's most challenging periods. These observations would later become integral parts of the captivating stories featured in the television series. Although the actual Walton's residence didn't exist in Virginia, its representation in the show resonated deeply with audiences across the nation. Situated in a bucolic setting reminiscent of bygone days, the home provided viewers with a comforting sense of familiarity. In turn, this nostalgia helped fuel interest in visiting the physical structure, despite its location outside the program's original setting. As work began on crafting the Waltons, Hammer Jr. remained committed to ensuring every detail felt true to life. He painstakingly wove together elements from his past, creating a tapestry rich in both historical accuracy and heartfelt emotion. Through this approach, he successfully breathed life into a world many found both intriguing and relatable. Transitioning between reality and fiction proved seamless under Hamner Jr.'s guidance. By grounding the narrative in his own experiences, he added layers of nuance often missing from other period dramas. Consequently, The Waltons has left an indelible mark on American television history, inspiring generations to cherish the simplicity of small-town living while acknowledging the complexities inherent in all human relationships. During the Great War, that didn't mean much. Not when people... In the iconic opening scene of this classic television series, viewers see John Boy and Grandpa fishing at a peaceful body of water. This serene moment was actually filmed at Franklin Canyon Reservoir in Los Angeles, despite the show's setting in rural Virginia. The actor behind Grandpa Zebulon Walton, Will Gear, led an interesting life outside of acting. He was a member of the Communist Party, which caused controversy during the McCarthy era. However, these political views did not affect his popularity among the show's fans, who found his portrayal endearing. Despite the misleading location shot and Gear's unrelated political activism, the Waltons became a beloved program for many families across America. What? That is easier. Really? In the third season of The Waltons, actress Ellen Corby faced a significant health challenge, she had a stroke. This real-life event was written into the series, enabling Corby to remain in her role as Grandma Esther Walton while dealing with limited mobility. 
The writers cleverly incorporated her condition into the storyline, allowing the character to continue being a part of the beloved Walton family. On the other hand, Richard Thomas, known for his portrayal of John Boy Walton, decided to depart from the series after its fifth season. His decision was driven by a desire to avoid being typecast in one specific role. However, he did make cameo appearances in later seasons, much to the delight of fans who cherished his performance in this classic television show. Leaving temporarily allowed him to explore different opportunities, ultimately enriching his career as an actor. Oh, you know, I don't go for that fancy scheme. I have no faith in the old man, I just... In the popular 1972 TV series, The Waltons, Mary McDonough, who portrayed Aaron Walton, faced a unique challenge when she cut her hair for another role. To maintain Aaron's signature long-haired look, she had to wear a wig throughout the filming. This decision ensured continuity in the costume design, allowing the audience to focus on the heartwarming storyline without being distracted by changes in Aaron's appearance. Moreover, the Waltons served as a stepping stone for many future stars, providing them early exposure on national television. Among these talented individuals were Sissy Spacek and Ron Howard. Even though they appeared briefly as guest stars before rising to greater fame, their contributions added depth and variety to this classic family drama. Spacek later starred in films like Carrie and Coal Miner's Daughter, while Howard directed hit movies such as Apollo 13 and A Beautiful Mind. Their appearances on The Waltons offer fans an intriguing glimpse into their earlier careers. Some help. Well, first I better call. Michael Learn, known for her work in medical dramas, was initially hesitant to take on the role of Olivia Walton in The Waltons. She feared being typecast and pigeonholed into similar roles in the future. However, after some consideration, she decided to accept the part. This casting choice proved to be significant as Lerner's portrayal of the matriarch added depth and warmth to the series. Her performance resonated with audiences and helped make the Waltons a beloved classic. Jerry Goldsmith, an accomplished composer, created the iconic theme music for the Waltons. His composition effortlessly captured the essence of the show, one that centered around themes of nostalgia and family unity. With its gentle melody and heartfelt tone, the theme song became synonymous with the series enhancing its emotional impact and leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Even today, it remains instantly recognizable and continues to stir up memories of this cherished TV program. You need a mm. budget for you. Well, you're a real handy young man to have around. Thank you. Furthermore, the series received critical acclaim and won multiple Emmy Awards, solidifying its place in television history. This classic did not shy away from tackling pressing social and political issues of its time, such as racism, the Vietnam War, and the Civil Rights Movement. By weaving these themes into its narrative, the show added depth and a sense of reality, reflecting the struggles and triumphs of the era. Episodes such as The Conflict address the harsh realities faced by those in the Vietnam War, while others, like The Outsider, highlighted the significance of tackling racial prejudice. The heartfelt storytelling and relatable characters resonated with viewers, encouraging conversations about difficult topics. This commitment to authenticity and social relevance helped the show earn not only accolades, but also a special place in the hearts of its audience. Ralph Waite, who played the patriarch John Walton in The Waltons, brought a unique sense of realism to his character. This was due in part to Waite's own upbringing in a rural area, which he drew upon to inform his performance. After the initial run of the beloved TV series came to an end, fans were treated to a number of reunion movies that allowed them to catch up with the Walton clan years later. These reunion films provided viewers with the opportunity to see how the characters they had grown to love over the course of nine seasons had changed and evolved over time. They also served as a reminder of the powerful bond between the Walton family members, which remained unbroken despite the passage of time and the challenges that life threw their way. For many fans, these reunions were a welcome return to a simpler time and place, one that stood in stark contrast to the complexities and uncertainties of the modern world. Whether you were first introduced to the Waltons through the original television series or discovered them through one of the reunion movies, it's impossible not to be charmed by this warm and loving family. Hey, excuse me. Remember now, don't tell anyone I told you. Ben! Ben Watson! In the late 60s, CBS began developing a TV movie called 
The Homecoming A Christmas Story, which would later serve as the pilot for the beloved family drama, The Waltons. However, there were some discrepancies between the actors' ages and those of their characters. For instance, Richard Thomas, who played eldest son John Boy, was already 23 when they started filming in 1971. Despite his character being just 17 years old, originally, Patricia Neal portrayed Olivia Walton, the mother figure in both the pilot film and early episodes of the subsequent series. Yet, due to health issues, she had to step down, making way for Michael Learn to take over the role. Ironically, Learn was six years younger than Neil, but fit perfectly into her matriarch persona. Despite these age disparities, the charm and simplicity of the Waltons remained untouched throughout its nine-season run until 1981. This classic depicted the life of the Walton clan living in rural Virginia during the Great Depression, capturing the hearts of millions across America. To this day, many still enjoy watching reruns of this heartfelt program that teaches valuable lessons about love, perseverance, and strong familial bonds. Hope that you consider me to be a friend, Zoo. <laughs> Furthermore, a significant moment in the show's narrative was influenced by real life when Richard Thomas, who played John Boy, had a motorcycle accident. This event inspired the storyline where John Boy faces a similar challenge, adding realism and depth to the character's journey. Additionally, the opening credits of the show featured actual family photographs from the cast and crew, creating a personal connection with viewers. These images not only highlighted the warmth and closeness of family life, but also brought authenticity to the scenes that followed, making the TV series feel more relatable and heartful tenants such details helped to engage the audience, making them feel like part of the Walton family. Joke, Mary Ellen. The Waltons first aired in 1972 and quickly became a beloved television series. Set in rural Virginia during the Great Depression, it followed the lives of a large family struggling to make ends meet. With its heartwarming storylines and relatable characters, the show resonated with audiences and has left a lasting impression on popular culture. One reason for the show's enduring appeal is its realistic portrayal of family life. Despite the hardships they faced, the Walton family remained close-knit and supportive of each other. This positive representation of familial bonds struck a chord with viewers and helped to establish the show as a classic. Additionally, the show explored serious issues such as poverty, loss, and social inequality. By tackling these topics in a sensitive yet straightforward manner, the Waltons provided valuable lessons for its audience. These themes continue to be relevant today making the show just as impactful now as it was when it first aired. Moreover, The Waltons paved the way for future family dramas on television. Its success proved that shows centered around family values could attract large audiences and critical acclaim. As a result, many subsequent series have been influenced by The Waltons' formula of blending drama, humor, and wholesome values. In conclusion, The Waltons remains a significant cultural touchstone due to its authentic depiction of family dynamics, exploration of timely issues, and influence on later television productions. Even decades after its initial run, this classic series continues to captivate new generations of viewers with its warmth, wit, and wisdom. I'll be just a minute. I'm gonna change. I'll take that chair now. Yeah. The creation of the beloved 1972 TV series, The Waltons required a careful casting process to find the perfect actors for each role. Producers sought individuals who could convincingly portray the warmth and closeness of a rural family during the Great Depression. For the character of John Walton Sr., the show's patriarch, cast, and crew wanted an actor with both strength and sensitivity. They found their man in Ralph Waite, whose previous roles had already demonstrated his wide range. Waite's natural charisma and quiet intensity made him ideal for the part. Selecting the actress to play Olivia Walton proved equally crucial. For this matriarch figure, they needed someone warm yet resilient. Michael Learned embodied these qualities perfectly, despite having minimal acting experience prior. Her chemistry with Waite would become the heart of the series. Finding young actors to play the Walton children involved extensive searching and numerous auditions. Mary Elizabeth McDonough landed the part of Erin after impressing directors with her poise and maturity beyond her years. Similarly, Richard Thomas, then just 16, won the role of eldest son John Boy following several callbacks and read-throughs. Eric Scott, Kami Kotler, John Walmsley, David Westerman, and Judy Norton Taylor 
completed the brood of Walton kids through diligent casting efforts. Each child brought unique talents and energy to their respective roles, enhancing the ensemble feel so integral to the show's success. Despite varying backgrounds and experiences, all involved gelled seamlessly thanks to shared dedication and passion. This camaraderie shone through every episode, contributing significantly to why the Waltons remains cherished by generations today. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Miss Foster. This must be your daughter. I'm sure you're really... The Waltons' director, Jack Alfieri, brought Earl Hamner Jr.'s memoirs to life through his unique directorial vision. Drawing inspiration from Italian neorealism, he aimed to create a realistic portrayal of rural America during the Great Depression. Alfieri believed in fostering a close-knit working environment, encouraging collaboration between cast and crew members. He often held impromptu rehearsals, allowing actors to freely explore their characters and improvise dialogues. This organic approach resulted in authentic performances, which resonated deeply with viewers. Alfieri's visual style was characterized by its simplicity and intimacy. He frequently used wide shots to capture the vastness of Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains, juxtaposing them against the small Walton family home. By doing so, he emphasized both the isolation and interconnectedness experienced by families living in remote areas during these challenging times. Additionally, he employed soft lighting techniques to evoke warmth and comfort, further enhancing the heartwarming narrative. Collaboration played a crucial role in shaping the overall aesthetic of the Waltons. For instance, production designer John Robert Lloyd worked closely with Alfieri to design set pieces reminiscent of Appalachia. Together, they created spaces filled with personal touches reflective of each character's background and personality. These thoughtful details added depth to the storytelling while maintaining historical accuracy. Moreover, composer Jerry Goldsmith contributed significantly to setting the mood of the series. His haunting melodies underscored emotional moments, providing subtle commentary on the character's feelings and experiences. Over time, Goldsmith's score became synonymous with the Waltons, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout production, including budget constraints and tight schedules, Alfieri remained steadfast in executing his artistic vision. Through determination and teamwork, he crafted a timeless tale that continues to captivate audiences today, proving that even amidst adversity, great art can flourish. Oh, Mom, it's beautiful! <laughs> the Waltons, a TV series that aired in 1972, was filmed in Los Angeles. Despite its mountainous Virginia setting, the show's creators used creative methods to recreate the Blue Ridge mountain environment on a studio lot. They built a massive, detailed facade of the Walton home, surrounded by artificial trees and foliage. This allowed them to create the illusion of secluded rural life, while having easy access to city resources. To capture authentic performances, director Earl Hamner Jr. implemented unique techniques. He encouraged actors to ad-lib lines and improvise actions, making each scene feel more natural and spontaneous. To further enhance realism, they often shot episodes in sequence, enabling cast members to develop their characters progressively throughout the season. However, producing the Waltons came with significant logistical challenges. Managing child actors presented difficulties regarding work hours and education regulations. Furthermore, maintaining continuity across multiple seasons proved complex due to changing wardrobes, hairstyles, and character development. Despite these hurdles, the crew embraced innovations in technology. For instance, they utilized early video assist systems, which enabled directors and cinematographers to review footage immediately after shooting. This sped up editing processes and improved overall product quality. Set construction also saw advancements through prefabricated materials and modular designs. These facilitated quicker assembly times and greater consistency between sets. In addition, advanced lighting equipment provided better control over ambience and mood, contributing to the warm, nostalgic atmosphere associated with the Waltons. Stay around and work? Well, I'm bound to see it begin, that's for sure. Good. I want it to... The musical score and soundtrack of the Waltons, a beloved 1972 TV series, were crucial in establishing the show's distinctive warm and nostalgic atmosphere. Crafted by composer Jerry Goldsmith, known for his work on Star Trek and Planet of the Apes, the score was tailored to reflect the rural Virginia setting and the values of the Walton family. 
Goldsmith drew inspiration from American folk traditions, employing instruments like fiddles, banjos, harmonicas, and acoustic guitars to create authenticity. He aimed for simplicity, believing it would evoke the honesty and innocence of the characters. In creating themes for each character, he used motifs associated with their personality traits. Earl Hantner Jr., creator of the series, praised Goldsmith's ability to musically express the essence of every role. Collaboration between Goldsmith and renowned musician Bruce Langhorne played a significant part in shaping the iconic sound of the Waltons. Utilizing unconventional techniques, they manipulated sounds produced by striking various objects together, generating unique tones that resonated throughout the series. This inventive approach imbued the score with raw emotion and depth, enhancing its connection to both storyline and audience. Music supervisor Gary Stromberg handpicked songs featured in episodic scenes, contributing significantly to the overall sonic tapestry. Folk classics like Down in the Valley and Red River Valley echoed through episodes, emphasizing the familial bonds and cultural heritage central to the series. Moreover, these traditional melodies served as counterpoint during emotionally intense moments, providing relief and reinforcing the importance of community support amidst adversity. When asked about crafting the series' music, Goldsmith once stated, you want something that doesn't get in the way but adds to what you see visually. His mission was accomplished brilliantly, resulting in a timeless soundtrack still admired today. Through thoughtful composition and selection, the music of the Waltons has become intrinsically linked to our collective memory of the program, standing testament to the power of audiovisual synergy. One of the most iconic scenes in the Waltons comes from the episode titled The Separation. John Walton, played by Ralph Waite, has just received news that he may lose his job at the sawmill due to lack of work. His wife, Olivia, tries to comfort him, but John's pride makes it difficult for him to accept help. Director Philip Leacock skillfully captures the tension between the couple through tight shots of their faces, highlighting the pain and worry etched into every line. Cinematographer Robert L. Morrison uses muted colors and soft lighting to create a somber atmosphere, drawing the viewer further into the emotional turmoil of the scene. Waite's powerful performance adds another layer of depth to the moment. He portrays John's struggle between accepting assistance and maintaining his self-reliance with subtlety and grace. Meanwhile, Michael Learn, who plays Olivia, delivers a heartfelt performance that perfectly balances concern and understanding. This scene resonates deeply with audiences because it showcases the harsh realities of life during the Great Depression, while also emphasizing the importance of family bonds. As Waite once said in an interview, John's character was about survival, about doing what needed to be done to keep his family together. This idea is beautifully encapsulated in this pivotal scene. Another memorable moment occurs in the episode The Literary Man, when renowned author Henry Baldwin visits the Walton home. Initially dismissive of the mountain folk, Baldwin gradually warms up to them after spending time sharing stories and experiences. Filmmakers use wide shots to capture the stunning Appalachian landscape surrounding the Walton cabin, contrasting sharply with the cramped quarters of New York City where Baldwin resides. This visual metaphor underscores the stark differences between urban and rural lifestyles, ultimately illustrating that true wisdom can be found anywhere, regardless of one's social status or background. Actor Will Gear, who plays Grandpa Zebulon Tyler Walton, shines in this particular episode. With his wise yet humble demeanor, Gear embodies the spirit of the mountains and imbues Grandpa with warmth and kindness. According to Gear, Zeb represents the best parts of our past, strength, perseverance, and love for nature. Through Gear's nuanced portrayal, we see these qualities come alive in each interaction between Grandpa and Mr. Baldwin. These iconic scenes continue to captivate viewers even today, offering valuable insights into human nature and reminding us of the power of compassion, understanding, and unconditional love. They serve as testaments to the enduring legacy of the Waltons and its ability to touch hearts and minds across generations. She needs a place to stay tonight. Uh, exactly. Here. 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 Yeah. 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 The Waltons, a TV series that first aired in 1972, tells the story of a loving family living in Virginia during the Great Depression. This heartfelt show quickly became popular among viewers, who found solace in its wholesome depiction of family life. One reason for its success was the relatability of its characters. The Walton family consisted of parents John and Olivia, along with their seven children, each with distinct personalities. 
Audiences connected with the struggles and triumphs they faced, which often mirrored their own experiences. Moreover, the Waltons addressed significant social issues of the time. Episodes tackled topics like poverty, racism, and gender equality, sparking conversations about these matters among viewers. By presenting thoughtful narratives around these subjects, the show made a considerable contribution to raising awareness and understanding. Additionally, the Waltons had a profound influence on popular culture. Its warm portrayal of rural America inspired other productions, leading to a resurgence of interest in stories set in small towns. Furthermore, elements like the iconic opening theme song and the unique visual style left an indelible mark on television history. To sum up, the Waltons captured hearts and minds by offering engaging stories centered on relatable characters while addressing critical social concerns. In doing so, it enriched both the cultural fabric and the broader discourse surrounding essential aspects of the human experience. Next week, Lord, it's got to be today. Upon its release in 1972, the Waltons TV series quickly gained positive critical reception. The show's warm, nostalgic portrayal of rural life during the Great Depression resonated with audiences and critics alike. Notably, the New York Times hailed it as a television program that has both quality and appeal. During the filming of The Waltons, Richard Thomas, who played John Boy, was known for his practical jokes on set. One time, he filled Earl Hamner Jr.'s car with popcorn while Hamner was away on a short break. When Hamner returned, he couldn't figure out why his car wasn't starting until they discovered the popcorn overflowing from the vehicle. The young actors often studied together between takes, helping each other learn their lines and discussing their scenes. This created a close bond among them, which translated onto the screen as a believable family dynamic. They would even play games like Monopoly and Hangman during breaks to pass the time. Michael Learned, who portrayed Olivia Walton, had minimal acting experience before being cast in the role. She once shared that she used to hide in her trailer when it was time for emotional scenes because she felt intimidated by the process. However, her dedication paid off, earning her three Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. One episode required rain effects, but due to budget constraints, actual rain could not be produced on set. Instead, the crew hung large sheets of plastic above the porch area where shooting took place and continuously poured water down them creating the illusion of steady rainfall. Ellen Corby, who played Grandma Esther Walton, suffered a stroke during the show's run. Her condition affected her speech and mobility, causing temporary paralysis. Despite these challenges, Corby insisted on returning to work after recovering, adjusting her character accordingly. The writers incorporated Grandma Walton's convalescence into the storyline, allowing Corby to continue her beloved role. Despite the wholesome image presented in the Waltons, Ralph Waite, who played patriarch John Walton Sr., struggled with alcoholism throughout much of his life. He eventually sought treatment and became sober, dedicating himself to supporting others facing similar struggles through his involvement in various recovery programs. She was way ahead of her time. She wore a slate bracelet on her arm and she had her hair bobbed and she was from over near Scottsville, Virginia. She was the Waltons, a TV series that first aired in 1972, holds a special place in film history. This heartfelt show, set in Depression-era Virginia, offered audiences a glimpse into the life of the Walton family. Its focus on strong familial bonds, resilience, and moral values struck a chord with viewers, making it one of the most popular shows of its time. One key aspect of the Walton's influence can be seen in how it paved the way for other family dramas. Many successful series later adopted similar storytelling techniques emphasizing the importance of family relationships and exploring complex emotional issues. For instance, Little House on the Prairie and Eight is Enough both drew inspiration from the Waltons. Moreover, several actors who got their start on the Waltons went on to have fruitful careers in Hollywood. Among them are Richard Thomas, Joanna Kearns, and Ron Howard. These individuals helped carry forward the wholesome, engaging style cultivated by the Waltons. The Waltons also tackled social issues relevant to its time, racism, poverty, and women's rights, subtly incorporating these themes into its narratives. By addressing these topics through relatable stories, the series encouraged meaningful conversations among families watching together. Lastly, let us not forget about the Waltons' reunion movies, which began airing in the late 80s and continued through the early 2000s. 
their popularity demonstrated just how deeply ingrained the original series remained in pop culture consciousness. Even today, reruns continue to attract new fans, while reminding old ones why they fell in love with the show in the first place. Oh, oh yes, yes, I'd, I'd like to. Maybe I could read a story and we could discuss it after. The Waltons, a TV series that first aired in 1972, holds a special place in many hearts. Did you know that John Boy, one of the main characters, was based on creator Earl Hamner Jr.'s own life? This heartfelt show offers timeless tales of family values, love, and perseverance during difficult times. We're eager to hear about your personal connections to this classic series. How did it influence your view of cinema or touch you personally? Perhaps certain episodes left lasting impressions or taught valuable lessons. Share your stories with us and other fans. Your engaging insights can inspire meaningful conversations among fellow cinephiles. By liking, sharing, and subscribing, you help create a welcoming space for all to reminisce and enjoy these treasured memories together. So don't hold back, let the conversation flow.